Good morning. Good to have you this morning. Thanks for joining in with us. We're going to look in 2 Chronicles chapter 26 and look at Uzziah, king of Judah. Notice what God says about him in the first few verses of this chapter. And he did that which was right in the sight of the Lord, according to all that his father Amaziah did. And he sought God in the days of Zechariah, who had understanding in the visions of God. And as long as he sought the Lord, God made him to prosper. And of course, that's the secret sauce, if you want to say, as long as he sought the Lord, God made him to prosper. And of course, because he listened to God through God's man and did uh, those things that uh, the Word of God taught, uh, he prospered as a king and as a nation. Joshua said the same thing as the people of God came into the new land. Uh, there he said, Look, this book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate day and night therein, that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. For then thou shalt make thy way prosperous, and then thou shalt have good success. And so Joshua, as they were getting ready to go into the promised land, take it over, he reminded them, if you want to prosper and have great success, then listen to God. Pay attention to God. The psalmist said the same thing in Psalms 1 when he says about the man that listens to God and does, not just a hearer, but a doer of the word, and he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that bringeth forth his fruit in his season. His leaf also shall not wither, and, wither, and whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. Now we see the great success in the first several verses of this chapter that Uzziah had because he desired to know God and to do God to do right by God. And many reforms he instituted in the land and, and got the people on board. And then we see in verse 16 something happens. It says in verse 16 of chapter 26, But when he was strong, his heart was lifted up to his destruction. For he transgressed against the Lord his God and went into the temple of the Lord to burn incense upon the altar of incense. And Azariah the priest went in after him, and with him fourscore priests of the Lord that were valiant men. And they withstood <clears throat> Uzziah the king and said to him, It appertaineth not unto thee, Uzziah, to burn incense unto the Lord, but to the priests and the sons of Aaron that are consecrated to burn incense. Go out of the sanctuary, for thou hast trespassed. Neither shall it be for thine honor from the Lord God. And Uzziah was wroth, and had a censer in his hand to burn incense. And while he was wroth with the priest, the leprosy even rose up in his forehead before the priest in the house of the Lord. Now, you see there in later years in his life, as he approached the things of God, pride was involved in his spirit. And he sought to do more with a haughty and, and arrogant spirit than God would ever allow him to do. And he committed a great transgression by going into the priest's office or acting so and trying to do the priestly services, which was strictly forbidden. God judged him immediately because he refused to repent. And, of course, strict, uh, struck him with leprosy. And it says in those verses that he was in a several house all the rest of his days. Basically, he was in imprisonment. Uh, he had leprosy. He couldn't go out. He couldn't worship God. Notice these uh, verses in Proverbs. Pride goeth before destruction and a haughty spirit before fall. Matthew it says this, And the cares of this world and the deceitfulness of riches and the lust of other things entering in choke the word and it becometh unfruitful. This is what was taking place in Uzziah's life. In Corinthians it says, Wherefore let him that thinketh he standeth take heed lest he fall. Second Chronicles twenty six sixteen says, But when he was strong, he basically disobeyed God. And because he was strong because of God's blessing and obedience, his heart was lifted up, his humility became arrogance. He transgressed, the scripture says. When you sidestep God's will, your success will cease. In verse 17, the priest went after him. Here was his chance to repent and humble himself before God. But Uzziah got angry. He got angry at the rebuke. He forced his disobedience further and was smitten with leprosy and ejected from the temple. Verse 21 says he dwelt in this several house in prison because of his sin, 
with leprosy. He was unable to go to the temple and worship. Or as a king, he couldn't even approach the temple. Sin will imprison us. Its punishment will come and may destroy an area of our life that we can't get back. Uzziah had great success, but success was blinded by pride and caused failure. He refused to be reprimanded by God. As God has prospered you, remember the pit from whence ye are digged. Never lose the humility that was present at salvation. Stay humble and prosper. Or stay humble and repent. But stay humble. God resisteth the proud and giveth grace to the humble. Uzziah was a great success and prospered greatly. And then when pride entered in and he was still being taught by God, he refused to listen, got angry. And because of his anger, it put him in imprisonment, you might say. It does the same thing to us when we neglect to hear God's chastisement through his word. It'll put us in a prison and keep us from prospering and having great success for God. So take this from Uzziah, a great man in many ways for many years. This problem of this lack of humility set in and pride overcame. And his fall was great. And it's sad, but it doesn't have to happen. Submit to the Lord. He'll listen. He'll forgive and move on. But have great success today. And if God's teaching you something through this and seeking to instruct you, Humble yourself, listen, and continue to be prosperous that you won't fail. God bless you. Thanks for joining us today. You have a great week.